Researchers at UC Davis designed a solar dryer for small-scale farming systems around the world. The chimney solar dryer dries fruits and vegetables twice as fast as traditional solar dryers by combining a table where heat from the sun can collect with a chimney that creates continuous airflow around the product. The chimney solar dryer is built with materials that are easily available in local markets around the world. Wood, clear plastic, black plastic, mesh screen, and basic carpentry supplies. The dryer is built in four main parts. A drying table covered in black plastic or black fabric, a chimney covered with clear plastic, drying trays made with plastic mesh or metal screen, a plastic cover of clear polyethylene, Though the exact size of this design can be adjusted, for this video we are building a chimney dryer that is 4 meters long, 60 centimeters wide, and has a chimney that is 3 meters tall. We start by building a sturdy frame for the table, including slats across the top for additional support. Then stretch black material or black plastic over the top and sides of the frame, securing with staples. On top of the black material, attach two wood strips that will lift the trays off the table. Next build a similar frame for the chimney. The chimney must be the same width as the table, in this case 60 centimeters wide. Cover the whole chimney with clear plastic except for the opening at the top. Now build trays that will hold the fruits and vegetables to dry. Cut mesh into squares 60 centimeters wide. Then attach two pieces of wood under the mesh opposite each other. Secure two more pieces of wood on top of the mesh on the two remaining sides. Secure mesh to wood with staples and screw wood corners together. Build five trays for this chimney solar dryer. Finally, put the pieces together. Join the chimney to the table by screwing two vertical boards. You may want to anchor the chimney to the ground with stakes. Place the five trays on the table, then build shelves at both ends of the table to hold a pole. Carefully, cut an opening in the chimney plastic so the air will flow above the table and under the shelf and plastic cover. Drape the clear plastic cover over the table and shelf, pressing the clear plastic tightly against the chimney to prevent air from escaping. First, rinse with clean water. Small and thin items like leafy green vegetables and herbs may dry in a few hours, while larger, bulkier products like tomatoes or mangoes will take a few days to dry. You can also dry bulky products more quickly if you remove the pits, peel the product, or cut into thin pieces. Next, arrange the product onto mesh trays to dry. Trays that are loaded more sparsely will dry more quickly than trays with a lot of product on them. The fruits and vegetables will shrink when they dry, so you you can overlap them slightly. When placing the trays, leave the first space open, farthest from the chimney. This helps the air warm before moving over the fruits and vegetables. You can stack the trays too high as long as the lower product doesn't touch the tray above. Make sure that the plastic cover doesn't touch the product and slow airflow. You will only want a few centimeters of headspace above the fruit and below the plastic covering to keep the air flowing. Secure the plastic cover and make sure that the airflow entrance and chimney exit are not blocked so the air can flow only in one direction. The temperatures and humidity in the dryer will vary, so rotate the trays about twice per day for more uniform drying. Air temperatures, humidity, and weather can affect drying time. The chimney solar dryer works on sunny and cloudy days. However, it does not work during extended periods of rain or heavy clouds. First, selecting a site for the chimney solar dryer. Before you build the dryer, you will need to find a flat outdoor area to use it. The area should allow the whole dryer to have good sun exposure. Clear away tall grasses and rocks that could damage the plastic. If you're in the northern hemisphere, you will want to orient the dryer so that the chimney is at the north. If you're in the southern hemisphere, then you will want your chimney to be at the south. Optimizing airflow. The clear plastic on your completed chimney solar dryer should be tucked tightly so that air can flow only in one direction. Entering at the end of the table, flowing across the fruits and vegetables to dry them, and then continuing up and out the chimney. Make sure to tuck tightly behind the vertical boards that connect the table to the chimney, around the chimney window, on the ground on either side of the table, and under the chimney. But leave an opening into the soil for when it rains. How to know if the airflow is working. Sometimes the suction from the chimney will make the plastic over the table concave as the air is being sucked through the dryer. You can also test the airflow by attaching some small strips of tissue paper to the pole above the product in the middle of the table. When the air is flowing correctly, these strips will move with the air. For more details on this low-cost solar dryer, check out the UC Davis Chimney Solar Dryer Manual on the Horticulture Innovation 
Innovation Lab website.